so i'm sure you can tell by the title of this video that it's not a fun like it's not, if you want to laugh this is not the video for you but like if you still want to laugh you're probably going to be laughing at me because i put myself on the line yesterday today is the 26th of july it's tuesday i don't know when i'm going to release this video but i just want to put the time frame see my cute pimple on my nose so let's get into this video so always listen to your intuition because i feel like it's your garden angel telling you what to do and what not to do i did not listen so yesterday prior before yesterday like last week my friend texted me i'm not going to mention anybody's name in this video my friend texted me that they want to do a hangout at my house normally we do hang out like all these videos you see me and my friends in we do hang out at my house so first off we make the videos then when we're done making the videos we now like chill in my parlor play music and we catch crews and we play games just normal things like nothing goes down like we don't do anything stupid nothing goes down because my friends all of them they are mature like me if you want to do your shit you go to your house and do your stuff you don't do it in people's houses she was like let's do a hangout and i was like for what uh, i don't i'm not doing any video so there's no point of doing a hangout so she was like she really wants to see this particular guy and all so i was like okay sure you can do the hangout so it was just me her and one of my other friends so that's three of us that was supposed to be there with like we're supposed to be like six like six people plus me you, and my brother was around so i planned that i'll do a bbn reaction video with my friend and my brother then we'll just chill downstairs the seven of us that's six of us plus my brother seven the next thing she's telling me she wants to bring her friend that lives close to her and i was like i don't want to crowd like normally the reason why they are crowd because the last time i did a video i did five videos at once i did that we were that much so i was like we're not doing a video we can't be this much she was like please her friend really wants to come okay i was like sure she can come because i've met the girl twice or three times like when because she's my friend's friend so she comes with her whenever we're outside and doing stuff fun stuff so i was like sure this girl seems like a nice person that's one don't trust strangers don't like i have this problem that i it's not as if i trust people easily but i'm very friendly so i allow people into my space which i'm going to cut down on i was like sure she can come the next thing she was like she's coming with a guy and i was like who is this guy i don't know this guy why is he coming to my house i don't know why you're coming why are you coming to close to me why do i know you do i fucking know you why are you fucking coming close to me so at that point i was like like i told her they can't come I told her they can't come, but she was still begging that let her friend just come. I was still processing it. Next thing, she's telling me that this guy said he can't, uh, he does not know any of us, so he wants to bring his friend, and he said he wants to bring another person. I was like, ah, uh, nah, nah, nah. At one point, I was not reasoning that, like, most of the times when they come to my house, I'm always using them for my videos, and now they just want to chill, and I'm denying them. I was like, okay, since they're always coming through for me when I want to do a video, let me just allow them to have this this you see that they want us like what's the worst that could happen uh. <laughs> what's the worst that could happen never say that because the worst will happen i was like babe these people can't come to my house so they're too much they, they said the friend if you wanted to come some that's four people i was like she should tell the friend to ditch this guy so that he can ditch all these guys so on the morning Sunday, I was. I called. I was like, "How far?" She said, "The girl has not replied that message." Monday morning, I was like, "How far?" She was like, "She has no no." So me, I felt okay. She has told this girl that I don't want this guy in my house. He will not bring this guy because the girl came alone. Okay, now we started. Um, they came. Everybody came on Monday morning. We were in the house vibing and all. The next thing I'm hearing that this guy has come. Like, because I was in the kitchen cooking. Have you? I was done it. I was in the kitchen washing plates. Next thing I'm hearing that the guy has come with his friend. I was like, okay, at least I just two. But then my body was not at rest. Like something stupid just happened now again. So someone I sell jeans. So someone wanted to order jeans and I was like, she should pay up, pay up. She's my friend actually from so I was like, she should pay up. 
and then she didn't so i thought she was still getting it and i said i'm going to order for her and then she said she doesn't want it okay <sighs> she patronized me with it. i said oh, baggy jeans i'm going to put the pictures here i said oh, baggy jeans they're really nice nice designs you can send me the designs you want anything we're paying in the house because my brother is living so everybody was downstairs now in palo and next thing this girl like the girl my friend invited comes to meet me that she can they use my room i was like use my room for what they like i just want to chill and talk it was so like it was so but then at that point all of us were in the middle of the conversation we were having fun so i was not really paying attention to what she was even saying but then the angel came again and whispered in my ear see this so i just said it i was like please don't do anything stupid in my room don't have sex in my room i stated it out if i call this girl now she will, she will tell you guys i told her they don't have sex in my room ha i said it god is my witness she was like no that they will never for this kind of thing so i trusted her that i as the owner of this house i've given you a room you can chill in my room like okay i'm, I'm not dumb i know that do that if them come to my room they will talk and they will like kiss and normal first base like who goes down to second base in someone else's house when i literally told you like why will you even get to the point where you remove your clothes so they went upstairs now they meet like they went upstairs then two minutes later i went upstairs to the upstairs parlor because i wanted to be like listening so when i got upstairs my friend was there i asked him did you hear any noise she was like no he didn't hear any noise from there so i was like okay at least they are listening to me so i was sitting down now like 10 minutes later someone is at the downstairs door who is there my mom <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker! My mom that comes back by 5 p.m., 6 p.m., 7 every day, came back by 2 today. You can see that the Lord wanted them to catch this one. <laughs> because you know, my mom was like, she was in the office and she was just feeling restless, so she came home. So my mom came and I was, and I, and my mom has this rule that I shouldn't bring people upstairs, which I don't listen to. I'm not the hear word. I know the hear word. I get coconut head. I get big ear. But I know the hear word. Because it's just weird. Like when I go to my friend's house, all of us go to their rooms, we chill in their room. So imagine them coming to my house and I'm saying, don't go to my room. Like girls, they will not even listen. So I, was like, I heard my mom came back. Like I was still trying to listen to the show. My brother and I came over so like, mom is back home. And I went to the room to call them. But this was like, they were in there for like, let's see. 10 to 15 minutes, yeah. 10 to 15 minutes. My brother was like, Mommy, back. So I now opened the door, like, halfway. This door, I just opened the door, halfway. You guys have been doing it since. And lo and behold, as I entered, I just saw the girl on the bed naked. And the boy, too, naked. I was like, My mind was. You be a shabu! Even till now, I cannot. Like, I can't put on <laughs> oh, this bed, this bed that I sleep on, it's my sister. You guys had sex on this bed. I was just like, because my friend was on my back. You know, the one that we're sitting outside here together. So he entered, so he saw them and I was like, like for a minute, we were dumbfounded. It was not a minute, but it felt like a minute. Next thing, I'm hearing my mom coming upstairs. I panicked, like, and immediately I entered. When I got myself, I was like, You guys should wear your clothes. What is broke? Do you know what this stupid girl said? She said, Why? <laughs> she said, <laughs> She said, Why? <laughs> you won't sleep for my house. Okay, because you fuck for my bed. You won't sleep for my house. She said, Why should she wear her clothes? <laughs> ah. I don't see too This is just a, it's a wake up call. It's a lesson for me. Like, I'm going to finish the story, then I'll talk about how this affected me. So, the boy wore his clothes. And then, next thing, my mom was at the door. She now pushed you open. I just stepped aside. When she saw them, she just entered. 
they see the slap. They see the slap and we did me. I don't think she has beat me like this in her life. So she was like, what are these people doing inside here? How is it going to go? She was shouting. Ah, I mean, I've never seen her that mad in my entire life. And I understand why she'd be mad. Like, when she sits there, she just feels they're my friends. Like, I just thank God she didn't even think I was part of them because I was fully clothed. I was fully clothed. I was wearing my shirt and my shorts. And then the guy entered with was fully clothed. So only both of them in case it's obviously both of them that were doing stupid deed. So she was shouting like she slapped me. Bah, bah, bah. <coughs> <coughs> she slapped me, my glasses flew. <laughs> I fell on the bed. No, let me tell you about this video. Okay, people have forgotten that there are three people inside you. So my um, when she entered the first time, my friend entered the bathroom because he was scared. Like all of us were scared. She entered. She's like, what's this? Nonsense? She shouted. She went to my brother's room. That you are here. People are naked. My brother was like, who's naked? Because my brother knows he just saw me outside. Like he just told me mommy is back home. And I was wearing clothes. I'm not naked. My brother was like, what are you talking about? Who's naked? And she gave me that first laugh. She knows that you must be still with me. <laughs> All of them don't want to run outside. You can see friends. They ran outside like they didn't even the girl was still naked. She held her clothes like this. She held her clothes like this to her chest and ran downstairs naked because the pool would not wear clothes. So actually I was numb. I was not even like I was not feeling the beating. It was just pinning me that I allowed this happen in my house. I broke my mom's trust. Like she see me as someone that rose with people that just go to people's houses and have sex. Like she doesn't even believe that these people are not my friends. Like because of the fact that I allowed them come up to my room, I allowed them into this house. Like she said, it's only close friends that she comes to us, and it's true. Of course, I fucked up. Who never fuck up hands in the air? So like I know like this thing happened, and I, I'm supposed to be mad. I'm so, like my friends were telling me because. Hey, I didn't tell you guys. When I was not changing, like, cause I changed the sheets, I saw this guy. This guy came over my bed. Like, can you imagine? They didn't even use protection. In this 2022, you are having sex with someone that you just met to win, like three weeks ago. She just met three weeks ago, and you didn't even use protection. Ha! Ah, people have mind. My friends were not like, cause I told my friends, and I like, I should not carry this. I should this, this comb. <laughs> And I should go and sweat for him. I was this close. The, the bed sheet is still here. Like, if I want to do it, I can go and do it. But I'm not a vengeful person. Like the girl even called me later. She was like, she's sorry. I said it's fine. She was like, I'm sorry. I'm not even emotional. I was just like, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. This deed has been done. You saying you're sorry doesn't need to change anything. You have spoiled my life. Now my parents said I should never bring anybody to this house without a consent. Boy, you get me. Like I can't even do my videos with my friends. You guys just get to see just me, just see my face on this channel because I didn't even feel like bringing anybody to this house again, right? and I didn't even want to go through that struggle of saying, okay, mommy, I want to bring somebody. Who is that? Farida, Farida from your school, or who is that? Christiana. Yeah. I'm just so pain that like my name dropped the I'm disappointed in you bomb. She dropped. The I didn't expect this from you. I didn't expect this to be friends with this kind of but I'm not even friends with them. This thing is paining me. As I'm saying, I'm laughing you, but I'm paying guys. I'm paying. Why did I allow them into my house? Why did I not listen to my intuition? So that you just be careful with the kind of people you bring into your house. Because smart people did this country. Mad people. And my dad is saying this is never going to allow me to stay alone in school. That that's what do you know what I'm That's what I'm doing in school. Like it pained me so much that they just judged me based on what they saw. They're like, so this is what you've been doing in school. So this is what you know, your friends are doing. All oh, those I thought it was just your friends that were wild, but now it's like you're doing them. I could never say anything because what do I want to say? Okay, I don't know how to end this video. I'm just going to end it here. I'm going to end it here because. I keep on talking and I start crying and I don't want to do that on this channel like I've said I'm never going to cry I'm never going to cry on the internet and I'm going to stick with that so in this
sometimes you know you do just listen to your intuition never trust any stupid ass who and just be careful who you bring to your house those are the two things you need to take away from this video so thank you for watching my video bye see you guys in my next video so from now on you're just going to be seeing me <laughs> boring with me <laughs> so get used to this face no more fun friends just don't get me the boring of it <laughs> if you watched up to this point then i will well subscribe thank you if you're like new in your teen years like 13 to 20 please even if you want to like i know everybody has the liberty to do anything they want to do but if you are having sexual intercourse please use protection because pregnancy is real just use protection please don't have sex in people's houses don't have sex without protection peace keep safe peace enjoy your life and the both of you that you follow me i'm going to judge you bye if you want to like and subscribe like and subscribe <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you get notified whenever i post thank you